Okay, so this is a um, basic introduction to some of the um, most uh, commonly used modeling tools in Maya. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and create a simple object, create a polygon primitive, uh, and I'm going to create a cube, and I'm going to open up the options box and go to edit reset settings. And let's set the width of this to five, five, five. How about that? And then let's have um, three divisions, something like that. And then let's create our cube. Okay, so we've now got a little cube. And if I hit five on my keyboard, I can go to gray shade. And if I hit four, I can go to wireframe. Now we can um, fool around with this cube. Uh, there are um, uh, as, as I uh, said in the um, theory lecture, there are basically um, four com uh, three components to modeling in Maya. There, if, I, if I right click on this object, I can go to vertices and then I can select these vertices by drag selecting and move them around. Or I can go to uh, faces uh, and then I can select the faces and then I can move them around like that. Or I can right click on the object um, and I can go to edges and I can select the edges around an object and I can move those around. So it depends on what you're doing in Maya and what you want to be doing as to which of these um, uh, you want to be manipulating. But you can manipulate all three. And here are some uh, basic tools. Let's say, for example, um, that we wanted to make this um, uh, cube uh, uh, extend at the top. Let's say, for example, that we wanted to extend this face here in the, in the middle. I would right click uh, and go to face and then select that face. And rather than just pulling the face out like that, there's a, there's a better way of doing it. And I can go to edit mesh extrude and that is a very very common tool and you will find this yourself using this all the time edit mesh extrude um, and you can that you can use that to extrude a face um, and um, once we've done that I can I can uh, return to the uh, main selection tool that I can select that face again um, and I can uh, go back to edit mesh extrude and now I can scale these faces in if I want, like that. Uh, and if I want to check on those inputs to make sure that they're the same, uh, I can uh, check them in the, um, in the menu here. Let's say I want to keep these exactly the same, so it's an exact square. I can just adjust those there. Um, uh, and then if I want to, I can extrude that again. I'm just going to go back to the main selection menu to leave that extrusion and then select that face, edit mesh, extrude, and I can now extrude it out again. So you can, you can do an awful lot with an object. I know this is a slightly peculiar thing that I'm creating here, um, but you can do a great deal um, by just using edit mesh extrude to create um, uh, large and complicated objects. Um, and if we go into the, um, uh, here we go, edit mesh extrude again, let's sort of make it go slightly insane with this thing, so we end up with a, uh, a, a sort of, uh, um, what am I trying to say, not the World Trade Center, the other one, uh, the Empire State Building kind of top to this thing, um, and you can sort of carry on going on with this indefinitely, and if I go into the window menu, uh, uh, and go to the outliner, I can see we still just have one object there. It's just polycube one. Um, uh, and um, uh, uh, we can carry on um, uh, doing that if we want. Another very useful tool in Maya is the insert edge loop tool. Let's say we wanted to um, uh, bring this area up a little bit, but we don't want to select all of these faces. We want to select some kind of subdivision of them. So what we might want to do is insert some edge loops. So I can go to, um, and once again, just go to the main uh, select control, just so I'm, I'm out of the previous tool, and then go to um, edit mesh, insert 
edge loop tool right there. And then if I just click here, I can insert an edge loop. And here, I can insert an edge loop. And here, I can insert an edge loop. And there, I can insert an edge loop. And now I can go to, say, these faces here. Whoops, uh, I haven't actually left that tool. So let me get out of that tool and then go back to selecting faces. Uh, shift select these faces here. And now I could extrude that, edit mesh extrude, and create a sort of, uh, 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 start to make it feel more like a Empire State Building kind of thing. So you can always add more ed edge loops and you can always extrude um, uh, uh, from the uh, existing objects. Now you don't want to over complicate things. The more you add le edge loops, the more you will tend to uh, complicate your um, uh, your surface topology. Uh, but those are two very, very useful uh, tools to be aware of uh, when you're um, modeling in Maya. Another very uh, useful tool is the um, uh, Select Edge Loop tool. That's up here under Select, Select Edge Loop. Um, and for example, we could take this edge loop here uh, just by double clicking on that. Um, and actually, why don't we shift select that one there. Uh, actually, hold on, we've got some things selected that we don't want. So I'm just going to leave that tool for now. Let me go, actually, I'm just going to go to object mode, click on the object. Uh, we seem to have some things selected there that we do not want. Okay, so I've, I've deselected those. I don't know how those got uh, selected by mistake. But uh, here's another useful tool. Um, we go to uh, Select, Select Edge Loop Tool. Uh, and then if you double click on these edges here, you'll find yourself selecting whole edge loops. And if I hold down the shift key and then double click here and then double click here and then double click there and double click there and double click there and double click there. I've now got all the edges of this box uh, selected. Uh, and I'll show you why that's useful. When I go to the bevel tool, which is up here under Edit Mesh Bevel, there we go. We've now got a bevel, and what that does is it is it takes the um, uh, it takes the uh, the sort of sharpness of the edge of the object, and I can go here in this offset, and I can adjust these values to make that bevel bigger or indeed smaller as I like. Um, so those are some very commonly used tools in um, uh, polygon uh, modeling. Um, and if you go ahead and watch the um, tutorials, I would start with the basic um, set modeling, or model a basic set tutorial and then go on to the chair afterwards and you'll see how to um, uh, put these tools into practice.